Sorry, Mr. Thompson. Fine. Circulation increase has been very satisfactory. Unfortunately, a publisher doesn't get killed every week. We're tearing up the contract we have with you and replacing it with this one. You'll note that in the new contract, every circulation increase of 50,000 or more means a cash bonus for you. Better have your attorney read that. This is all right. Good, we'll get along. You and I are gonna work more closely together than we have in the past. Riding on somebody else's bandwagon and following the parade doesn't sell papers, but leading your own parade will sell papers. Circulation isn't all you're after, is it, Mr. Rankin? You and I weren't born to march in the rear rank. Who's he? Oh, you can speak freely. Trent's really one of the uh, family. Matter of fact, he's just done an excellent piece of work for us. Since the police have failed so miserably, I had Trent and several private investigators go after Carter's assassin. Jerry Purvis? Yeah. He worked for me. Yes, and was discharged as a dangerous radical and a constant troublemaker. Oh, we talk too much. He, most kids like Jerry do. Kind of a half-baked idealist. Thinks he was born to die on a barricade, so he goes looking for a barricade. But he's not a murderer. I know he isn't. It couldn't be. Well, I admire your loyalty to a former employee, but facts are facts. Half a dozen witnesses made affidavits of Purvis threatened to kill Carter. She used vile and threatening language. Was broken in debt. About to be thrown out of his apartment. Had a sick mother. Bought a gun. Was seen running away after the shooting. What more do you want? Well, this doesn't hold up. We've got a fine libel suit on our hands. We'll risk that. Have the police got this stuff? Why should we give our case to the police? Turn our story over on a platter to the other papers. <laughs> okay, but you might as well know right now I'm not exactly crazy about building up our own little private Gestapo. Well, in cases like this, I think the end justifies the means. 